Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle and I'm here with the Optimus Prime Blaster, two in one from Rise of the Beasts. And it's a Nerf gun. Funny, I thought that pretty much Megatron was the one who changed it to a gun, but this transforms from Optimus Prime into a Nerf gun, comes with two darts. I'm gonna break it out, do a quick review, and you can see if maybe this is something you want in your collection or maybe for a young up and coming collector so you can shoot your eye out. Be right back. All right, one thing that I hadn't actually realized is uh, a lot of this plastic-free packaging is this plastic-free except for glue and tape. So I guess that makes sense. But let me break out this Nerf blaster, obviously made as a collaboration between Hasbro's Transformers and Nerf. Not the easiest thing in the world to uh, open. It's just being a little bit ornery. So out of the box, you can see he's got a little red Transformers box. I wonder what's in here, darts. And you can see him strapped with these plastic, not plastic, these paper ties. And he's got a little box here that's empty. So let's get him out. At least these paper ones are colorful. These are blue, kind of a baby blue. And after much slicing and dicing, he's free. So there it is, a deadly weapon. Okay, not so deadly. Doesn't shoot anything because you haven't loaded him yet. So let's pop out these darts. There are two, which apparently you can store. I haven't referred to the instructions. I don't think there's a ton of instructions. One little sheet here. Wow, it is actually showing 13 steps to get him into Optimus Prime mode. That will be interesting. But first, let's put the dart in. I'm gonna assume you pull this and then... I've been shot right through the hand. So yes, it does shoot. Needs a bit of pressure right on the end there. But there he is, a handsome little blaster in Optimus Prime colors because this is Optimus Prime. Won't strap to put this away. So not a bad little blaster, probably more aimed for kids. Now, I don't think this is my imagination, but they seem to be marketing the Rise of the Beast toys for children. There, A lot of them are a lot of Cyberverse style and Earthspark style bots. There's flip changers, there's just, which, the other movies, they pretty much aimed the toys at adults. Well, not adults, but at least kids eight and older. Whereas this stuff, this might say ages, does it say ages? Six and up. So I find it interesting. I mean, we still have targeted towards older children and older children like us, things that are the legacy line and a lot of the studio series stuff. But I do find it interesting that this movie, they're definitely going with a different dynamic. Okay, since I have big hands, if you interfere with this retracting when you fire, it won't fire. So I do find it interesting that they're taking that particular marketing strategy instead of a lot of the Bayverse movies had some pretty complex Transformers and they were for kids eight and up because kids are fucking smart generally and can figure out Transformers. But those toys were something that weren't that simple and adult collectors could enjoy if you enjoy the Bayverse, which I'm not a big fan. So a lot of these Rise of the Beast toys are a lot simpler than adult collectors are used to. And you know, they had the buzzworthy Bumblebee three pack from Rise of the Beasts, which those were pretty nice toys, not overly complex. But yeah, I, I do find it interesting. All right, let's get this guy into his bot mode. Oh, and you can, before I do that, flip these things down and store your darts for the Nerf shooter on the go. And you can even apparently leave them in while transforming the bot, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, and I didn't even notice that you can flip out a little sight in there. So I was looking at the first instruction, I'm like, what are they talking about? But the sight apparently, since I didn't flip it out, I didn't have to flip it in, but now I do. So there he is, Optimus Prime in the two-in-one blaster in his robot mode. Now, it does show keeping these guys in, but if you want the tips up, you have to flip them around. So I think the tips up look pretty good. Now, as far as articulation, I mean, his arms actually are pretty good. They can go straight, they can bend at the elbow, go off to the side, he can shrug, go around. I mean, you have, if you have the darts in, that's not gonna help you go all the way around, but if you take the darts out, you could do it. The head doesn't turn though. The legs are one big piece with a line to indicate that they're two separate legs, but there's no articulation there. You can't really bend them at the knee unless you're like transforming them back. So super limited articulation, but not a bad little Nerf gun. And unfortunately you can't fire anything while he's in bot mode. So not a lot to you, dude. 
One thing to be careful of when you're opening up the chest, which you need to do to get his head out, because it goes right in there. Don't open it too far, because they have a tendency to pop off. They pop right back in. I mean, that's how a lot of modern toys are, but it's a pain in the ass. Just open them up gently in order to flip the head in and out. <gasps> the Matrix is missing. Still not a bad little gun toy. Definitely aimed at a younger audience or people who are totally psychotic and completists who will put this in his Optimus Prime case, which even has some things like McDonald's versions of Optimus Prime and Coro Qs and all kinds of little stuff. But there it goes. It goes for about 20 bucks. I got it at Target. I will look for some links online and put it in the description for you. But a fun little toy, but not a lot of playability value in robot mode. But if you want to do the whole bam, 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 I've got you now. Autobots, transform and roll out. Yeah, my Megatron is so much better. I mean, little flip changer, Earth Spark, Optimus. It has a little bit more playability value, though not a lot. So while you're deciding whether or not you want to get one of these yourself or just laugh at me for actually making this purchase in the first place, you can check out this video over here, which is a knockoff version, which doesn't have a heck of a lot of articulation because it is a knockoff of the G1, but it's got more than this and it's in black. So you'll want to look at that. Anyway, we'll see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting. Still a better Megatron.